How's it going everybody, Dotodoy here, back with another Guilty Gear video for you all today. And since the Strive beta is right around the corner, I thought now would be an excellent time to make a video going over all of the characters that are going to be available in the beta, and which characters you should look at depending on how you like to play your fighting games. Of course, if you do have the time, I do recommend trying them all during the beta just to see who you really enjoy the most, because uh, you can never really know for sure until you try a character, but hopefully this video will help some of you decide who you should start with, and maybe even help you find your main for when the eventual full release comes out. So with the intro out of the way, let's go ahead and start breaking down characters by taking a look at what the actual in-game character select is going to offer you. And that is breaking it down into four different categories consisting of balance types, speed type characters, power type characters, and tricky characters. Now of course these categories won't tell you everything about a character and you won't like a character just because you tend to like someone in their category. For example, I agree with both Potemkin and Mei being in the power category because they do do a lot of damage, but they both go about doing that damage in very different ways. We'll get into those specific differences a little later on because up first I do want to talk about the two characters you should try out if you're either brand new to Guilty Gear or just brand new to fighting games in general and those are the two characters in the balance type Soul Bad Guy and Kai Kisuke. Speaking personally I would more so recommend Kai over Soul if you are just getting into fighting games as more often than not I think Kai's kit more often incentivizes you playing in a traditional way whereas Soul is similar but rewards a more risky high engagement level of play. I think the best way to visualize visualize this difference between the two characters is to take a look at their kits. Whereas Kai has a very long range projectile that gives him benefits if those projectiles connect and he could also throw them in the air, Soul really only has access to the gun flame, which is a very slow projectile, it slowly moves across the floor, and while yes it can work as a projectile, really a lot of its strength is going to be throwing it out at your opponent at close range and then fainting it at close range, which is just pretending to throw one, and then going in for something like a wild throw or just something else to catch your opponent off guard. While yes, both are technically projectiles, Tiles, they both play a very different but important role in both kits. Also, Soul literally has a move that goes under Kai's fireball to punch him in the face. So if that's not enough to tell you the difference between these two beginner characters, uh, then I really don't know what is. <laughs> Moving on to the speed category, there's only one character in here for the beta, and that is Chip. And we can break this down very quickly. Chip is a character that you are going to want to play if you are somebody that likes being very fast, very aggressive, and loves going for mix-ups and stylish combos. Other than that, there's really not too much more to say about chip everything in his kit is about going in for mix-ups he's got a command grab he can run up walls he can do combos while running up the side of walls so again if you are into stylish play and being very fast and aggressive you have to start with chip you just have to it's something you have to do i will mention though i don't know if it's being kept in this game it probably is but in guilty gear characters have variable amounts of health usually and chip has by far some of the lowest health so while he was extremely fast he was also frail i don't know if it's being kept in this game let me know down below in the comments if you are already know whether or not this change is staying. I'll definitely make sure to heart it or pin it or something. Uh, but yeah, if you're picking Chip, remember that there is a chance that he could be frailer than the rest of the cast. But that is, of course, made up by the fact that people have to deal with you playing Chip. And with that, we are now back to the power category consisting of both Mei and Potemkin. And like I said before, while both of these characters do excel in doing lots of damage, they go about it in very different ways. Let's start with Potemkin, a character you're going to want to pick up if you're into grappling styles of play in fighting games. That means going for high risk high reward grabs that if you land you will do a ton of damage to your opponent and by then it's probably only one or two more guesses for them and uh if they guess wrong they're probably dead now of course some of the downsides to this style of play is potemkin's abysmal speed he will take a long time to get in close where he really excels and some characters really excel at keeping people out so some character matchups for potemkin are going to be harder than others if you're somebody that has a lot of patience uh, to master this style of play you will see rewards for potemkin you Usually he isn't seen as the best character, so who knows, maybe another grappler style character will eventually make its way into the game. But for now, Potemkin is going to be your go-to choice if you like big damage in short bursts and you like feeling unstoppable when you finally do get in close on an opponent that's been keeping you out for the entire time. But what if you like high damage and also being extremely annoying? <laughs> no, there's probably a better way to say that, but seriously, Mei is the other go-to option. Now, unfortunately, she does have charge motions, and if you're already well experienced in fighting games you already know what that is but but for people that started fighting games with dragon ball fighters which i assume is some of my viewers charge inputs are basically special moves that require you to hold the stick in one direction and then after a short duration of time flick it in the other direction and then hit a button and that's when your special comes out from what i understand she has two very important moves that deal with this which is both the hold back and then forward which calls out your dolphin allowing you to close in the distance on your opponent while also doing damage and she also has the hold down and then click up dolphin which also leads into a ton of damage 
damage. May also has a wide variety of other options like a command grab that you can actually combo after or even a projectile that sticks around after May gets hit. I would definitely recommend checking her out. Just make sure to practice your charge inputs uh, before hopping online. And with that, we have finally made it to the final category, which is tricky, consisting of both Axel and Faust. Now, to be completely honest with you, if you ever played Mario Tennis, tricky basically means the same thing here, uh, which is nothing. Tricky, <laughs> tricky is just a catch-all term for anybody that they couldn't really put into a bubble here. Let's start with Axel because he's one of my favorite characters to watch personally. This is a character that excels at keeping distance between him and his opponent while also getting some pretty decent damage with some really random starters. Seriously, I've seen Axel's catch somebody with a random sickle throw and then manage to turn that sickle throw into like 10 or 25%. But yeah, I would definitely say the main thing about liking playing Axel is that you have to really like controlling space. That involves everything from keeping it full screen with your opponent to making sure he stays there to keeping full screen, maybe moving mid screen, throwing out some very uh, particular scythe attacks that uh, only hit at a certain distance. They will whiff if it's too far or too close. And the reward for this is of course your standard damage and combo, but it's also a very aggravating play style to play against. So if you like making your opponents mad online, I would say Axel's a great option for that. But really you can play Axel in a ton of different ways. So I don't just want to bind down his play style by saying, oh, he, he's keep away or Oh, you can get, you can do pretty much anything you want with Axel. You just got to be really good with the character. I do recommend trying him out, even if he doesn't sound like your style of character. Going up against an Axel with no Axel experience is not the move. <laughs> and that same thing can be said for Faust, which is the other tricky character. Now, I don't even know where to begin with this guy, honestly. He's completely random. He has a lot of random items that he can th pick out and throw, as well as some other projectiles. And he's been changed a ton, at least visually speaking, from the last Guilty Gear. As somebody that hasn't played a ton of Faust in the older game and has only seen a couple of matches with him in this one, I would say the big reason to pick Foss is if you like each of your games to feel very exciting and different in a way, because you never really know what's going to happen. You, of course, have a decent idea, but Foss can really hit you with something that you just never saw coming. And with that, we have officially gone through all of the characters that are going to be available in the Guilty Gear Strive beta. Sorry that I couldn't go too deep on Foss. I just don't really know what I would say about him. But let me know down below in the comment section who you're excited to try out and who you think looks cool to you right now. Also, let me know if you got into the beta and whether or not you'll be playing it online. While you're down there, though, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Guilty Gear videos and fighting game videos in the future. And check out some of the other videos that should be on your screen right now. I've been Dr. Doya. I'm going to be streaming some Guilty Gear on my Twitch channel. So make sure to come over there if you want to watch uh, somebody nerd out at the new game and all of its crazy visuals. And I will see you in the next one.